In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a reflected text effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into the video. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, we want to begin by creating a brand new text layer. So in order to create a brand new text layer, we first have to go up into File, New, Legacy Title. We'll press OK on this new title window. Of course, if you did want to rename the title, then you could have renamed it there. Inside of the legacy title window, you can go ahead and create any text that you like. Just make sure you press the T button on the left side of the legacy title window and then select anywhere on the video. Now I'm just going to type out one word, type out Brooker. We'll change the font of this, change the size, we'll change the weight of this, and then we'll just center this up. Now, once you're happy with the look of your text, you can go ahead and exit the legacy title window and drag that title onto video layer one. So once you've got your title onto the sequence, we want to go ahead and we want to add some animation. So we'll go to the very first keyframe. We'll press the stopwatch icon on the position to create a brand new keyframe. We'll move over one second to the right. And then we'll go ahead and we'll make another keyframe by pressing the icon again. So we've just added a keyframe. Now we'll go to that first keyframe and we'll pull the position of this title just down a little bit. Now, if we play this back, we've got a little soft movement up. From here, I'm gonna to go to that second keyframe on position and I'm gonna create a brand new rectangle mask around the title. So I'll go to the free draw Bezier and I'll draw a mask around the title. But once you're happy with the look of your mask, you just want to go ahead and create a brand new keyframe on mask path. So we'll press the stopwatch icon on mask path. Now we'll go to the first keyframe on position and we'll update the mask. We'll move this up a little bit so you can't see the title anymore. So go to mask path and we'll move this title up. So we'll go to mask path and we'll move this mask up so we can no longer see the title. Now, if we play this back, we've got this really nice text appearing from nothing. That looks really awesome. So from here, we need to go ahead and we need to make the reflected part of this text animation. So I'm gonna select title. I'm gonna right click, go up to nest, and we'll just press okay on this. So we've just nested that title into its own sequence. From here, you want to go ahead and make a copy of that nested sequence. So you can either hold command C and command V to copy and paste. Or if you hold option on the keyboard, select that nested sequence, drag that up to video layer two, you'll make a perfect copy. So now that we've got video layer two selected, we want to go into effects and search for basic 3D. And then we'll drop basic 3D onto the title on video layer two. And as you can see, we can adjust the swivel or we can adjust the tilt. In order to do the reflection effect though, we want to adjust the tilt to 180 degrees. So we'll pull that all the way up to 180 degrees and then we'll pull the position of this just down a little bit so it's directly underneath the first title. So if we play this back, it doesn't look too great as we play this back. As you can see, there's a bit of overlapping here. So I'm gonna pull the position of video layer two just down a touch. And there we go, when we play this back, that looks a lot nicer. So from here, I'm gonna select the nested sequence on video layer two. We'll go into opacity, select the free draw bezier, and we're gonna draw a mask around the top of that title. And then we'll go up a little bit. So we've got this rectangle, which is catching the bottom of that title. Now we'll go into mask feather. We'll increase the mask feather all the way up to around 140%. And as you can see, that's really starting to look like a reflection. Of course though, it is a little bit too intense. So I'm gonna just pull down the opacity just a little bit. And now if we play this back, we've got this really awesome reflected text animation effect happening right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And there you go. That is the reflected text effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you enjoyed watching this video or if you feel like you learned something, then please do let me know 
in that comment section below. And of course, I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. See you there.